Barracks. Hal. You two still breathing? Uh, more or less. Didn't expect to see you here, sir. Nor I. Care to tell me what you two are doing here? What are you doing here? My job. Don't you get it? This operation was never about rescuing POWs. We've been after one thing, Dusk Nine. Impossible. That place is just a myth. Is it? We'll never know now, thanks to you two. I'm not interested in your little ploys, Zane. You should be. Next to the Emperor's location, Dusk Nine is the Empire's best kept secret. Hundreds of Black Ops projects are born there. It's also a prison, according to the rumors. The things that supposedly go on there, too horrible to be real. We're more interested in the intel hoarded there. We seeded thousands of bugged soldiers into the Imperial penal system, hoping for a bite. Why so many soldiers? To improve our odds, naturally. The more soldiers we seed, the better our chances of someone winding up at Dusk Nine. We were using the wrong bait. The brass at Dusk Nine weren't interested in common soldiers. But how could they resist an SIS agent? So, I bugged myself, staged a bogus rescue operation, and let myself be captured. I was awaiting transfer when you two geniuses showed up. You'd already agreed to rescue the Deadeyes once they were captured. Were you just planning on backing out? A failed rescue mission was the perfect ruse to get me in. Far more productive than an actual rescue attempt. Now, I have no choice but to abort my mission and try again somewhere else. Sir, we can deal with Zane later. Let's just find the rest of the squad and get out of here. Jorgen, sir, they're dead. The cold, they didn't make it. What? Trace? Copland? They're gone? But I thought... Zane. Take it easy, Jorgen. Stay out of this, sir. You kill them. You promised them a rescue that never came, and now they're dead for it. How many other soldiers have died for you, huh? A hundred? A thousand? You can't kill me, Jorgen. Too many witnesses. As far as we're concerned, sir, the Imperials killed him. What? Wait, you can't just... Major, do something! Put the gun down, Jorgen. Zane has a lot to answer for, but this isn't the way. Fine. He's not worth it anyway. Much obliged. As for you, you think you can pull a blaster on me and walk away? I'll see you in prison for that. You'll have every soldier in the Republic gunning for you if this gets out. I... right. Consider my lips sealed. Let's get these men back to their squad. I'll call for an evac. They're off, sir. Mission accomplished. You doing all right? Honestly, I'd rather not talk about it right now, sir. Let's just get out of here. Sir, I'd like to apologize for my behavior earlier. When I heard about Trace and Copland, I... I just lost it. Would have done something stupid if you hadn't stopped me. You feeling better now? I don't feel like killing anyone, if that's what you're asking. I'd have been no better than Zane if I pulled that trigger. I'd just be another thug doing whatever it took to get his way. You're a good soldier, Jorgen. Don't forget that. Thank you, sir. There's always gonna be men like Zane calling the shots in the Republic. Can't kill all of them. Better to work with the system than against it. I can still count on you, right? Absolutely, sir. Don't know that I'll ever trust the brass again. But I trust you, sir. You kept me from making the biggest mistake of my life. I won't forget that. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Being a soldier isn't just what I do, it's... It's who I am. And I'm good at it. But when it comes to women, relationships, that's... That's where things get messy for me. There aren't exactly a lot of men lining up to woo female commandos, either. And rightfully so, if they know it's good for them. Point is... I like you. A lot. I've never met a woman who got me the way you seem to. Now we're a different breed, you and I. All the more reason for us to appreciate what we have. I've given up a lot for the Republic. 
and I'll keep on giving as long as I can. But for all the rules and regulations telling me otherwise, you're the one thing I'll never give up. It'll take an army to pry me away from you. Likewise. All right. I think that's enough heartfelt sentiment for one day. Let's get back out there and bag us some Imperials. I wasn't sure when would be a good time to bring this up. Figure, now as good as any. For the Cathar, picking a maid, it's a lifelong commitment. Big decision, as you can imagine. Never really gave it much thought before. Then I met you. My people have that, too. It's called marriage. Right. Marriage. But lately I've been thinking. About you and me, the war, and what'll happen when it's all over. I've been thinking. I'd like to start a family someday. Family with you. Eric Jorkin, are you asking me to be your life mate? I... Blast a woman, I had all this planned out. But, yes. Life, mate, wife. However you want to put it, the position's yours. If you want it. Of course I'll marry you. Good answer. As soon as we get the chance, we should go on leave. Have this done all official-like. Maybe take a vacation, go someplace quiet, someplace far away from the war. I'm thinking Ither. I'd like to see your homeworld someday. Cathar? Hmm. Never been there myself, honestly. Not much left to see from what I hear. Still, it's a thought. You ever think we'll adopt our own litter of runts? I'd like that. I think you'd make a good father. Yeah? I think you'd be up to the job, too. If we do raise any of our own, I'll look forward to showing them around a blaster rifle. When they're old enough, of course. <laughs>